Hey everybody. Just wanted to share a couple of thoughts about how greed and fear of missing out can cause you to make some mistakes along your path to finding that missing comma in your retirement account. There's a lot of information out there on the interwebs. Some of it great, some of it not so great, some of it downright harmful. And anybody that pays attention to politics in the past six or eight years will be able to recognize that. But here's the thing. I pay a lot of attention to crypto, the DeFi space, because I really think that crypto, decentralized finance, blockchain, all of that is going to fundamentally change the way we do business, the way we do finance worldwide. It's going to have an impact as big as, if not bigger than the internet. Did. And there's a lot of money to be made in the space, and there's a lot of people making a lot of money in the space. But because it's kind of a Wild West era right now, there are also a lot of folks that are taking advantage of the hype and of people's lack of knowledge, and again, their greed and their fear of missing out, to take them down some not, not really great has. The thing that comes to mind today, I know a guy, seems like a good guy. We're not friends. I only know him through the internet. We've had some conversations. I've consumed a lot of his content because he's a, a regular uh, content creator. And he's done very well uh, in the home business space over the past decade or so. I think nothing but well of him. But he has lately been heavily promoting a crypto trading bot, and he's daily describing, disclosing, there we go, how much money he's making every day. And the pitch behind this program is that somebody has come up with a trading algorithm where they can look at various crypto exchanges and arbitrage price differences in various cryptocurrencies. And they are providing a 3% daily return on investment. Now, if you just stop and think about 3% daily return, that means you double your money every roughly three weeks, uh, rule of 72, and you, you run that over a year or two and you're taking small sums and turning them into fantastic amounts. And this guy has you know, been sending out emails on a regular, you know, made 4,000 today, made 6,000 today, made 7,000 today, made 8,000 today. And I have no doubt that there are a lot of people that are getting these emails and looking at that and saying, oh my goodness, I need to get in on this. Thought crossed my mind when I, when I read them. But if you stop and logic it out, let's say you or I, had come up with a way to trade cryptos or anything else, but we'll, we'll stick with cryptos for right now. And we were consistently generating 3% returns every single day, like clockwork. Would we bother to tell other people about it to have other people be able to invest and use this platform? Or would we simply use this trading program that we had come up with to make ourselves billionaires in the course of a year? I mean, let me grab my calculator here. Because if you took Let's say a thousand dollars, small amount. Let's let's start with a thousand dollars. Clear this. Put a thousand dollars into our present value. Three percent interest, compounded three hundred and sixty-five times. That turns into forty-eight million. $482,724.53 in a year. So 
if you had a had a software program that could take you from a thousand dollars, and that's all you had, if you, if you only had a thousand dollars in a year, and would make you forty-eight million, forty-eight and a half million dollars in a year, would you be looking for? Would you be looking to start a multi-level program with it for people to invest nine dollars at a pop? I don't think so. So, just the logic test doesn't match, and there are, there are a whole lot of other red flags about this particular company that the, that the guy is touting, and I don't want to get into that because my purpose here isn't to to bash this particular program, which. I believe I could. I certainly could be mistaken. I don't know. I think it's a Ponzi scheme. You know, look. It looks like you know people got get in, getting in early are getting paid a lot of money based on the people that are coming in behind them putting in their money, investing their, their money into this program. And in two or four or maybe six weeks, that company is going to announce that. Oh my goodness, we've been hacked. All the money got taken. Woe is us. So sorry. It's played out. The, the same scenario has played out a bunch of times with a bunch of other companies. So that's what, what it, I can kind of see coming with this. But this fellow who otherwise seems like a pretty rational, intelligent guy is all in on this. And again, he's making money. Uh, he's probably made twelve to $20,000 this month uh, on the program. So he's making a boatload of money, but it's going to stop. And the problem with Ponzi schemes is that you're not providing a, a, a genuine value to the marketplace. You're merely taking money from the next chump to line the pockets of the people who got in sooner. And then when they do the rug pull at the end, you know, some people will have made some money and they'll probably go on and say, oh gosh, bad luck with that breaking down the way it did, but we sure had a good run, didn't we? Let's go do it again. While the people that got in towards the end are just out their money. Never having been any actual value added to the marketplace for, for all of these transactions. But it's easy to get caught up in the hype and the wanting something to be true. Like I said, I reading this guy's emails every day, I was ready to throw money at it myself. Maybe these guys really got it because people are making a lot of money in the crypto space and maybe maybe these guys really hit it. But if you, if you, if you dig, you look a little under the covers. Uh, there's a lot of red flags there. And again, if you just look at the logic of the situation, I think it's absurd that if anybody were able to generate those returns that they'd be starting a small, a small amount brokerage play with it. Just doesn't pass the logic test for me. So I just want to, I don't know, caution you is the right word, fatherly advice, brotherly advice, because most of you are probably my age anyway. The old cliche about something being too good to be true, there's a reason that there's a cliche like, and if you stumble across something that seems too good to be true, look a little harder. Uh, again, maybe it is. Like I said, there are people uh, making a lot of money in the crypto space. I know another fella who has made, you know, a thousand percent returns uh, on investment with legitimate with legitimate programs. There's people in the NFT space that are making absurd returns. So I'm not saying that you can't make gigantic returns. You certainly can. But if you come across an opportunity that looks like there's the potential for giant returns in it. Just look a little further under the hood. Take it, take a, do your due diligence just a little bit more. Take a little sharper pencil to it, dig a little deeper and see if you find some more of those red flags that A, they might save you money. B, they might save you from being part of something that does nothing more than steal the money from other hopeful people. So, that's what I've got for today. Um, again, there are great returns to be had out there. I'm, I'm not saying there aren't, but if you come across the, the once in a lifetime opportunity, 
just dig a little deeper before you throw your cash at it. Hope you have a great day. I hope you make a fortune. I hope you find that missing comma for your retirement account. Uh, and have a great day. We'll talk again.